Welcome to Tomball Suwakdo. My name is Curtis Higginbotham, and in this video, I will be demonstrating Edan Dui Yapoto Chaki. This video is geared towards red belts preparing for their Chodong test. The most difficult part of this technique is getting the height and the rotation that you need to successfully kick. So, here's a few simple drills that you can use to prepare yourself for the technique. To start with, we're going to jump. Pretty simple. Just jump. But that's not quite it. Because when we jump, we're going to try to turn 180 degrees. Just going to go back and forth, over and over again, until it's comfortable. Once it's comfortable, we're going to have one more thing. Every time you jump and spin, try to bring your leg as high as you can to keep yourself in the rear. So, now that you've paused the video and stopped to do that a couple hundred times, right? We're going to add more to it. So, once you add your kick, you're not going to be able to get as full of a rotation as you think because you're going to be focusing too much on the kick itself. So, to compensate for that, we're going to keep with our 180s, except we're going to do 360s now, still trying to kick ourselves in the rear. And don't be discouraged if you land and you fall or you stumble a bit and have to catch yourself. That's just a thing that happens to everybody. So now, after you pause the video and practice that a couple hundred times, we're going to add the preparation of the kick. You're going to pick whichever leg you prefer to kick with, and when you jump, you're going to pull it up to your chest as high as you can, as if you're preparing for a side kick. Everybody see? Good. So now you feel like you're ready to finally do the entire kick. You're going to jump, you're going to prepare, and then once you get all the way around to where you can look over your shoulder at your target, it's a side kick. That's all it is. Except you're flying in through the air and spinning. Simple. Now that you're comfortable with the general idea of the kick, here's some do's and don'ts that are going to make it just that much better. The first is how to line up with your target. When I get in my stance, you might think that I want my feet to be in line with the target. That's not quite it. Whenever you jump to turn and kick, you're not quite going to be able to get full 180 degree rotation. So you want to line up with your target just a little bit behind the line of your feet. Next, we're going to talk about distance to the target. When I'm doing just a normal standing back kick, this is about a comfortable distance for me. So I want to take my comfortable distance, and I want to slide back just a little bit. This is so that when you jump, you can jump towards your target and put just a little bit more power behind your kick. The biggest thing that you don't want to do is springboard. Let me show you. While you might feel better, you're actually taking away from the rotation of your kick by stopping yourself halfway through. Let's see the whole kick put together now. So I've given you some drills that you can do at home to improve yourself and make yourself prepared for this technique on the test. I've given you some drills that you can do at home now it's up to you to take those drills and practice. It's not a kick that's going to come to you in a day. It will take months of practice. 